Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini, co-founder of The Fierce Club here in Soho, New York City. This is one view of our studio with the curtains closed. Uh, tonight I'd like to talk to you a little bit about working with your body if you're pretty inflexible. Uh, you can be the tight girl or guy, I used to be the tight girl, uh, and you can still completely rock your yoga practice right where you are. So let me show you a couple of ways to kind of back off, especially in the legs, so that we can get the true alignment of the yoga happening, the spine completely aligned and flexible and getting stronger. And then we worry about straightening the legs and sometimes the arms too over time. So with core strength, vinyasa yoga, my style, you can definitely pull yourself back, back off and in a little bit, align what's really important from the hips to the crown of the head, and then we're going to start to work on leg and arm flexibility at the extremities out here. Alright, so let's begin. Here's a little sequence you can use anytime you want. Add it to your regular practice or use it as your solo practice. It should be able to complete your strengthening and your flexibility um, in a very short amount of time. So you can progress, open up more, get stronger, and eventually, just like me, you'll go from being here, not even able to touch the knees, to all the way down to the ground. Alright, here we go. So we're going to begin with a standing sun salutation. We'll move it into the core. So these are my core sun salutations, but modified for someone who needs to build a little bit more flexibility. So on your inhale, reach out and up. On your exhale, bend the knees and fold forward with bent knees, making sure to keep the spine nice and straight. You straighten the legs as much as you can, but in your forward bends, it's easy to let the low back ride up and overstrain. So we want the low back curve moving in and fully here instead of the increases. So that's what your forward fold looks like for a while. Hands on the shins if you need to be higher, but a nice straight spine. So bowing in and working the legs straighter, just pressing that edge over time. So again, that looks like this. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, keep a nice long spine. On your inhale, lift up to the navel. Look halfway forward. So again, we're not stretching the legs straight, letting the low back pressurize. But we're keeping the knees bent, lifting up to the navel, and stretching along the spine. So you're going to keep that low back curve in, but also activate up to the navel, toning a lot. And from there, take a few breaths to work your legs a little bit straighter, and your spine and arms straighter too. So you're always playing that edge right there without losing the alignment of the spine and the hips. All right, take a deep breath here. On your exhale, slowly lift your right leg into your chest and balance. This is going to help to uh, kind of burn and heat up the, the back of your legs here, the hamstrings, so you can get more flexible in them later. After a breath or two, slowly reach back bending the front knee, and coming into a lunge. So often, we look like this, right? The teachers, anyway. But you might be more up here, so you're working to open those hips and legs over time. So feel free to get a little bit higher. Take a deep breath and open the heart. And on the exhale, a few fists of fire here. So you inhale, open the heart. Exhale, tucking that tailbone. Try to draw the navel in more on the exhales. Straightening through that back leg as much as you can. If it remains bent, it's okay. We're working towards straight, always, without losing this whole optimal line. Inhale, reach up. Exhale in. You have to take a deep breath, reach. On your exhale, see if you can get your hands even off the fingertips down to the floor. Remove that foot a little bit. Plant the palms, and then I want you to step back to plank pose. Alright, plank pose can be intense. If your legs are really straight, sometimes the back can lift. So keep that low back curve in. You can bend the knees a little bit to do that, or take them to the floor. We'll take a deep breath here, activating the navel. And on the exhale, with bent legs, take it down the dog. So again, first priority here is to draw the navel in, stacking the pelvis in line with the hips, and then expanding long through the crown of the head. So you've got a nice energetic flow happening from the root of the pelvic floor and hips 
all the way through the spine and through the head. And you then helps you to optimize that in every pose. So with a nice open heart and a drawn in navel, everything is in a great line there, begin to play with stretching the legs back until you hit that stretchy edge once again. Breathe here. So you don't have to be straight and be rounded up to the back. We can be bent and in alignment. Take a deep breath in. On your inhale, lift up to the navel, the ribs wave back into your plank pose. And lower down into Chaturanga Gandhasana, a little lower lot. So knees can be down, and you can be hovering here as the shoulders get a little more open. In time, halfway down. Inhale up. Let's place the hips down. Bend those elbows. So you can be anywhere from here on the low ribs, low cobra, working. That back strength, working the front body flexibilities, all the way to up a little bit higher. So as your low back starts to get more curvy, you can open up. So anywhere from the floor to here is great. Take a breath here, tuck the toes, and again, bend those knees to activate up through the navel and stretch back to your edge, maintaining that lengthy spine. Walk your feet together. And with bent leg, you can try a little hop, hopping up as far as your flexibility will let you, and then continue to walk all the way forward. Or just walk up this time. Keep the bent knees. Inhale, lifting up to the belly. Wave your spine nice and long. Exhale, fold the bent legs. And just pressing that edge. On your inhale, come out and up, reach to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stay. Other side. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Pick it up through the navel, prepare. So this time, we're going to take that left knee and lift it up to the chest. Bring your hands to the heart and now stay. Other leg stays bent, so you're still trying to keep an active navel and a curved in lower back all the time. So both of these areas press in and have length in the spine. Slowly, that leg back as you bend the front knee, keep a high lunge here. So lifting up, try to square those hips forward. So we chip away at our flexibility, but we don't try to force it to get all out of alignment. So here we are, a little bit higher. Curl the tailbone down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist the fire. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Find the breath. And over time, allowing the legs to stretch and deepen over time. Okay, inhale, reach. Exhale. This time, stretch all the way up. Slowly plant those fingertips down. Move the foot. Palms down. Step back, dog pose with bent legs. Inhale, wave forward to plank. And lower a little more lot towards Chaturanga. Plant the hips down. Come up as high or low as you need to. Exhale. Tuck in. Bend the legs. And stretch back. So you can do a few rounds of those to warm up your muscles and your uh, connections and joints, connective tissue. Keep the shoulder blades on the back. If you know 